Oh, hey, how's it? Shaka Doug here, and I'm uh, making this video today to explain to you how to keep your torpedo scooter covers uh, sealing well. Over the years of using torpedo scooters over and over, um, I've had problems with my lids not making a perfect seal, and it's because the edges get chipped up, you get scratches and scrapes. So I figured out a way to resurface these edges and it's going to be really easy. I'm going to show you right now. I did it a couple times to do this video a couple times already and I'm on like take three now so get all my stuff out. What you're going to need some simple things. Glass table. Nice and flat. Uh, some very fine um, sandpaper and I'm using 180 grit. You could use 200 or 300. Emery cloth would work good too. You're going to need four strips of masking tape and what you want to do is tape the edges down firmly to the table so that this doesn't go anywhere. And you want it nice and flat. Okay. So, now, for those of you who use dive scooters and torpedo scooters and have them leak on you, you know that it's such a drag. It uh, spoils the electronics, they can foul out circuits, short circuit during the dive and they can leave you hanging. So we don't want leaks when we're diving. So what you're going to then do is take your scooter cover and secure the latches. This is really easy. Four pieces of tape, each about uh, four inches long. And what you're going to do is get the bottom edge of the latch and tape it up against the top. That way it doesn't fall. You're going to do this four times. So I'll just catch that bottom edge right there and tape it like that. First take, I was using one that I'd already prepped and the tape was falling off and well, had to put that one on the cutting room floor. So there you go, you got your four latches all secured so that they're not going to fall down. And then you're going to take this edge which has got little nicks on it, you'll feel the nicks with your fingernail, scratch right along the edge, oh, there's a big one right there. That's a leak waiting to happen. Then you'll put your lid down on the paper, nice and flat and sandpaper. And just start rotating. Put a little bit of pressure, not a lot. Go clockwise for a few turns. You're going to see all the uh, material coming off of the torpedo lid. And it's being left right there in the paper. Now we don't want to take off too much material because it'll start to change the uh, size of the lid and then you'll have problems with leaking because the latches aren't putting enough pressure on the o-ring seal. Okay, so I'm going to go the other direction a little bit. And that should be plenty. Run your finger and your fingernail along the edge and see if you can detect any chips, any cracks, any imperfections. Still got one right there, that's kind of a deep gouge. And that is from this latch coming over and catching right there. Okay, so kind of a problem that's going to be inherent to the design here, if you're not careful with these, you lay these lids around, you can damage your lid with that. So, get that back up, taped in place. Work on this zone right here. But you don't want to spend too much time in any one spot because you'll get a weird shape. You want this to be nice and flat. That's why we're doing it on a nice, solid glass table. Can't be anything cushiony underneath you. You've got to have the sandpaper to be nice and flat. And this is just the poor man's way. <laughs> doing it real quick. All right, that's feeling a lot better. Still have a little bit of gouging in that one section, but it's far enough away from the edge. Just a little more. I think we'll be happy. Cleaned up nice. Okay, now it's going to be a matter of preparing your o-ring. All right, so now what I'm going to do is show you how to remove the o-ring, which is pretty simple. You're going to take your uh, dental pick and run it in there. Now it's very important that you don't puncture or um, damage the o-ring. So I like to go in with a backwards motion, kind of catch underneath and scratch back up. I'll pull out my o-ring. Okay. This is covered with little bits of debris, sand, um, 
hair, anything on it can mess it up. I'm just going to put that aside. I'm going to hang it right over here. Next thing we're going to do is clean out the groove. Now, since you're going scuba diving, it's pretty common to have your scuba tank. Get yourself one of these little air nozzles, and uh, you see, works good for that. It also works good for this. Oh, yeah, safety goggles. Cleans up that groove. I'm going to take my silicone grease and I'm going to get just a little dab, finger, not much, and start working it onto the o ring. Just run through your fingers a bunch of times, like so. And you're feeling the o-ring, you're feeling for scratches and for perfections, pieces of sand, anything like that. And that's it, you just want it to be shiny. No gobs of silicone grease. Drop it right down in the groove. Take your fresh lid. Remove the tape. You'd have your battery hooked up. You'd have the scooter all ready to go. And try to be careful about your latches. Line up the four corners, four spots. Make sure that all of them are down in the open position. Caught up underneath the little latch, and then you do opposites. Secure the two opposite sides first simultaneously, and the two sides. Simultaneously, and there you go. That should be sealed. You should be able to take that, they say, to 170 feet and uh, go dive without getting your insides wet. So that's it. Sandpaper, glass table, taper down, little quickie little twist, and you've resurfaced your scooter lids, and you should get lots of use out of them. Got to protect them, store them so that they're not going to be damaged. Um, I'm going to get myself a little rubber ring piece of tape type thing to put over those things to protect them. Okay, that's it for me. So, uh, happy scooter diving to you. Aloha.